100 days of hardcore Minecraft. Yay. Okay, let's get started by collecting up some wood. And we're gonna stay away from the snow because I don't like it. I do like flowers though and sugarcane. I'm also gonna need to find some sheep and that's kind of convenient. They're right in front of me. Okay, so let's make a crafting table real quick so we can then make some sticks and make a sword if I can remember how to make it. Give me your wool. Um, where, where'd the other ones go? There they are. And of course, all the sheep have to be different colors. So I can't make a bed. Or can I? By taking some lilacs, getting some dye, and changing... Oh, oh never, um, okay, never mind. I guess that doesn't work only on these ones. Mission failed. So let's go find some more sheep and grab the sugar cane along the way. There's a lot of water, and I really don't want to swim across all of it. So I'm just going to make a boat instead. And now I can just sail along it. Well, paddle? I mean, I guess I'm paddling. Oop, and there's more sheep. Hopefully there's more than just that one. And yes, there is. Oh, and look at this cow and his baby cow. I'm not gonna kill him. Sorry, buddy. All right, fist bump me. Okay, that felt wrong. And some more cows. Where did your guys' parents go? Well, I now have a ton of food and I'm all out of hunger, so let's make a furnace. But first, I'm gonna need some cobblestone because um, furnaces require cobblestone, obviously. One furnace, please. And I'm gonna need some more fuel to cook all this food up. So some birch logs also. Nice. And now I just wait. While I waited for my food to cook, I decided to collect up some rose bushes because they were right next to me. And then I decided to watch the sunset on our brand new hardcore Minecraft world until I quickly realized I still hadn't crafted a bed. So crafting one of those up, I can now sleep through the first night of 100 days. Day two mainly consisted of me looking for a village because villager trades equal successful 100 days on hardcore Minecraft. I really can't fit through here. Okay, time to break the boat and then place it back down. Is that a sunken ship? Ooh, I think it is. And um, lots of turtles. I mean, lots. What will I find in here? Is there even a chest? Okay, there is a chest. Ooh, we got moss blocks, potatoes, which are always good and some coal. Now, is that all or is there gonna be another? If it involves digging around, I'm not, yeah, okay. That was probably the single worst sunken ship I have ever discovered. I mean, there was only one chest and it had moss and potatoes, but like no diamonds. What is this biome? Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a shattered savanna, I think. That is wild looking. Do I want to live there? No. There is a lot of floating islands though. Ooh, and a ruined portal. And... Oh my goodness, it's all the way down there. Let me just open this. Ooh, mending golden boots, okay. I'm gonna get rid of some of this wool because I don't really need it and hop on out of here. Still, no luck with the village. With the portal looted, it was quickly time to sleep again. And on to day two we go. Or day three, why is there a day zero? Let's kill some more cows though. And look at that, we found an igloo. Aren't these things supposed to be like kind of rare? Well, guess not, because I found one. And really, there, there's no chest, just, just a bed and a furnace. The entirety of day two consisted of me looking for a village, which I did up until it was time to sleep again. I wonder what's in here. Okay, I'm mending house, sweeping oh, oh, nothing good besides the golden armor. Ooh, I can take this, put it on my head. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, I almost just drowned. All right, what else was in here? I don't really need any of this stuff, so I'm just gonna leave it. After the ruined portal, I quickly found another sunken ship. And this one looked much more promising to have more than one chest. Oh, and there's a chest right there. What do we have? Oh, lots of goodies. Gonna take all of this iron and also the emeralds. And there should be another one in here. Yep, there is. Oh my goodness, lots of coal. And carrots. I need the carrots. I need the carrots. I think I can take the potatoes too. And that's all I'm gonna take. Now, is there another one? I feel like there should be. Yep, right here, right here. Buried treasure map. Now, where is this gonna take us? Is it this way? Yep, we're going in the right direction. And I think it's right right here? Oh, it's directly under the water, like right below us. All right, well, I'm gonna put some stuff in a chest real quick, grab some wood, and make myself a stone shovel. And I'm gonna get right over the top of this thing, like right there, and then dig down. Oh, this is gonna be so painful. I, I'm gonna drown again, I'm gonna drown. No, 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 no. Okay, let's give this another try. This is right over the X, right? Yeah, it is. Anything down here? It's so dark. Oh, I need air, I need air, I need air. All right, I made some torches, so now I should be able to see, and now I can get some air and dig around a little bit and this should go much quicker. Well, I think I just got cheated out of a treasure chest because I dug around quite a lot and there's no chest and my pickaxe is also broken. All right, I crafted a brand new stone pickaxe and I'm gonna give this another try. I need to get right here, but I don't wanna take, oh. Can I just close this off with that? Oh, okay, that works better. Why didn't I start with that? 
Urgh. This is probably the most upsetting thing ever. I've dug around so much and it's nowhere to be found. Oh, and it's nighttime. Not good. I gotta sleep real quick. Hopefully I don't get ambushed by any mobs. And I survived the night. Well, like 30 seconds of it? 15 seconds? I don't know. After giving up on the treasure chest, I decided to head out and keep exploring. I don't think I've ever found a mesa this quickly in a survival world. Oh, 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 and there's a village. There's a village. Exactly what I'm looking for. Now, is there a blacksmith? Hello, kind sir. Can you lead me to your blacksmith? No, you, you won't do it? What if I give you a potato? No, oh, oh, okay. Thanks. What about you? Should I hit him? Should I hit him? That would be a terrible idea. Since villagers are going to be a key to success in this 100-day world, I've decided to call this place home. It may not be the prettiest village ever, but it's going to get the job done. And maybe in the next 100 days, we can move our base to a different location. Okay, this is probably the smallest mesa I've ever seen. I mean, it's literally just red sand beaches and like little bits of clay. Now that it's decided, let's start setting up base. First, with our crafting table. And then also a chest because my inventory is completely full. Much better. Now, I could move into one of these villager houses but I kind of want to build a house of my own and it's going to be beautiful. Now, I feel like it's wrong if I say I told you so, but I did tell you so. The most beautiful house to ever exist. It has some windows, some amazing dirt walls, a door and a torch, and even a bed on the inside. Okay, no, this thing is just terrible. We're going to move into this house instead because it seems that no one's occupying it. Oh yeah, and it's now also day four, which means I should probably get moving because we're 4% through this episode. I spent the first half of day four collecting up as many grass seeds as I could because I wanted to build a wheat farm so I could trade with the villagers. I also decided to craft up some brand new tools and use some of my iron to make a bucket. I collected up some wood for composters and then cleared out a little area for this farm, which didn't need to be massive because I'll expand it later. Um, what are you doing in there? This is my bed. Oh, oh, okay, this this doesn't feel right. That was a very uncomfortable night of sleep. Back to working on the farm, I started tilling all of the ground. I'm mainly planning on growing wheat here, but I do have a few potatoes and carrots that I'm gonna place down. And hopefully in the future, we can add a few more farms so each crop has its separate area. I also decided to grab a few hay bales, turn them into wheat, and then grab another cow so the one in the pen can have a friend. And also a child, because we need the leather for an enchantment table. Oh my goodness, you guys won't believe this. So there's this one librarian villager, and you'll never guess what book he has. Mending for 30 emeralds. This is his base trade that he spawned in with. Okay, I need to somehow trap this guy in like a hole or a house because I don't want to lose you. Get out of my way. I would so hit you if that guy wasn't right there. And I got him in the hole along with these two other friends. So now you're not going to be lonely. I'm going to cover you guys up and also throw a torch down there. Oh no, I didn't want one of the farmer villagers down there. Well, I guess that's his new home, but our farm's complete. It does look really ugly though. So we're going to clean this up a little bit. Using the last of my iron, I decided to craft some shears. And then I went out and collected a bunch of jungle leaves before the sun set it. With those leaves, I decided to put a border around our farm, hoping that it might clean it up a little bit. And then it was time to sleep again, which um, there was another villager in our bed and it was an awkward night's sleep. And on the morning of day seven, I realized I was all out of food. So I sat around waiting for all my raw beef to turn into steak, which took a while. With most of my steak cooked up, I think I wanna head down into the mines because I currently only have this one iron ingot to my name. So hopefully we can get some more iron and maybe, just maybe we might get some diamonds. But first I'm gonna be smart and I wanna craft myself a shield, one shield, please. And a few more pickaxes. Okay, maybe, maybe not six. Luckily, there's a big cave right next door to the village. And this thing is a uh, full of iron. And I guess a zombie too. I should probably put my shield in my offhand. That would, that would be smart. Oh, what was that? Um, I didn't like that noise. Oh, that was the, the, the zombie turning to a drowned. Interesting. All right, he is taken care of. Let's get some more torches placed down and also collect up all this iron. What is up here? Ooh, a much bigger cave and a zombie. Let's light all of this up. Oh, creeper, creeper. I don't like creeper. Oh, two creepers, two creepers. There's another one back there. Okay, he exploded. Maybe we can just let this guy explode too. Perfect, I am okay with that. Oh my goodness, another creeper. And it turns into a massive cave. One step at a time. I'm gonna explore the smaller cave first. And finally, I've hit the deep slate level. Oh, and there's diamonds right there. That's mighty convenient. I just don't have an iron pickaxe. I'm gonna use some of my wood to make a crafting table so I can then make a furnace and smelt up some of this iron. Come on, finish up, finish up, hurry, hurry. Okay, let's make this pickaxe and collect up our first diamonds on this world. Please be more than one, please, please. Oh, you're kidding me. Of course it was one. Such typical Minecraft. Ugh. 
Oh, and there's a geode back here. Oh, this is sweet. Pretty big one too. And a redstone. All right, this looks super deep. So I'm gonna try to be as careful as I can. Oh, I wanna grab that gold and the redstone and then slowly drop down here. Come on, there's gotta be more diamonds down here. Oh shoot, there's two skeletons. After about an hour of mining, I decided to head back up to the surface, mainly because I needed to replenish my food and also my tools. And after a quick stop, I jumped back down into the caves. And oh man, did I find some goodies. Oh, and we got more diamonds. Let's see how many this one is. Please be more than one. Yeah, it is. Okay, can it be more than two? I mean, I don't want to get greedy, but like two's nothing. It just isn't my lucky day. After finding those two diamonds, I was having the hardest time finding a cave that dropped below Y level zero. But after a lot of searching, I finally found one. All right, this might be... Okay, okay, this is looking good. Come over here, buddy. I'm gonna light this up a little bit. Oh, there's diamonds right there. Let's take this guy out first. Oh, creeper, creeper, creeper. Oh, okay, that was, I didn't get the shield out in time. Okay, okay. Oh, I see you up there. Just need you to explode. Come on, come down here. Come down here, come down here. Oh, okay, he's down here, I guess. I think there's another. Oh yeah, way up there. Okay, okay. Oh, that was scary. And let's mine these. And it was just two. Oh my goodness, there's some right there. I didn't even see those ones. Oh yeah, and it was an eight pack. So what, that brings us up to a total of two up at the house or one? I think one, so we're up to 13. Anything down here maybe? I'm gonna get rid of the water real quick. Please be more, maybe? I mean, it looks pretty big. Nope, think I'm out of luck there. I'm not gonna get too greedy though, cause I already have 13, which is definitely enough for now. Is it just me or is finding your way back up to the surface one of the hardest things to do in Minecraft? I mean, it's literally a maze. Let me know down in the comments if you have the same issues. While I was clearing out my inventory, I realized I spent days 8, 9, 10, and 11 down in the mines. So I feel like it's time that I start building some infrastructure. Oh, hi there, little buddy. You're so tiny. Look how small he is. Little baby villager. No, 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 no. Get out of there. You're not, you, you can't go in my bed. Out of here. All right, I guess he's stuck. Or not. No, he is. Is that a little bit wrong? Maybe. Moving forward, I decided I wanted to expand the cow pen because now that I have diamonds, I want to start preparing for an enchantment table and we're going to need a lot of leather to make one. Following that, I also decided to build a small little sugarcane farm next to the cow pen, because we also need sugarcane for the enchantment table. And I also expanded my potato field. Breeding the cows was taking far too long, so I decided to go out and kill some, and maybe some horses. And then it was time to sleep again. Waking up, I decided to harvest some sugarcane, but then quickly stopped when the ground fell below me. Using some of the diamonds I just got, I decided to craft a diamond pickaxe because I was gonna need some obsidian for another portal and the enchantment table. Although I couldn't find lava and when I did, there was just a little bit of it. <coughs> Still having no luck with the lava, I decided to kill some more cows because you can never have enough leather. And I also found out that there's a mangrove swamp right next to our village. Come on, that's pretty cool. Ooh, look at that, there's a desert village. I wonder if they have any goodies. But first, I'm gonna grab the shirt game. Hello there, desert friends, and big desert friend. Would you mind showing me where your chests are so I can then loot them all and leave you guys with nothing? Anything in here? Nope, just a bed. What about in here? Just a villager and a bed. Well, these guys have no chest. I will definitely take all the hay bales. And you know, I'll let you live. Oop, chest, chest. Ooh, we got emeralds and some bread and also some cactus and dye. And I'm gonna take all that. Anything in there? Chest right here. Oh, more bread and more wheat. Why do I have my diamonds on me? Like, I feel like that's a terrible idea. Also gonna sleep in one of these guys' beds because I forgot mine. I may not have found lava, but I did find a desert temple. Light all of this up and then I'm just gonna do the cheaty way of digging down the side and obviously break the pressure plate. Got lots of bones. Oh, my inventory is kind of full. Get rid of some of this stuff. I do wanna take the saddle in the eyes. Oh, we got some more gold. Don't really care about the rotten flesh. Oh my goodness, this one has so much. Ooh, a notch apple. I will for sure take that. And I need to save a little bit of space for all the TNT because there's no way I'm leaving without this stuff. And now I can just build my way out. And I guess it's my lucky day because there's an abandoned portal right there. I doubt it's gonna have enough obsidian, but it's gonna get us a little bit closer. Oh man, I forgot how long it takes to mine this stuff. 
Now, shouldn't there be a chest around here somewhere? Oh, there it is. Uh, anything worth taking? The golden apple, yes. Ooh, another piece of obsidian. Oh, we can make a portal now. We have 10. I'll take the gold horse armor. But what do I leave behind? Don't really need the gunpowder. And the looting three sword also. All right, time to head back home. Oh, they're gonna make babies. Little baby villager, where is he? Where is he? I heard him. Oh, there he is. Look at the little guy. What up, little man? Now that I have all the obsidian I'm gonna need for the portal, all I have left to make is a flint and steel. And we can just build it right here. And time to ignite it and we can go through but first i'm gonna sleep and here we go hopefully we don't spawn in like a really really bad area okay not a great area wouldn't have been my first choice um there's a lot of magma cubes and i don't like it i don't like it i'm going back through not I, i'm not prepared now that i think about it i really didn't need anything from the nether oh you know actually i wanted some blaze rods and to get some ender pearls at a warped forest we can worry about that a little bit later considering it's now day 17 i want to start doing some planning and this can be my planning board, along with some signs. First off, I wanna get full diamond armor. I also wanna have full diamond tools. Now, I would say netherite, but that seems a little bit unrealistic. I mean, I only have about 27 hours left of this. I also wanna build a castle and kill the ender dragon, along with maybe getting some elytra. And the most obvious one is to not die. Okay, that checks out, which also means I have no time to spare. First things first, I want more diamonds. So I decided to head out and look for a fresh cave, hoping that my dreams will be fulfilled. But instead, I found something I think that's a little bit better. Whoa, oh, it looks like we got a monster spawner. Oh, I wonder if it's skeleton or something. Oh no, it's zombie, I can hear it. Oh my goodness, it's a baby zombie on a chicken. I hate baby zombies though. They're they're horrible. They're so miserable. Place a torch in there and try to get some more in there. Sweet. What's in the chest? Oh, we got a music disc and then some iron and nothing really else good. This is perfect because now we have a way to get some XP. Instead of looking for more diamonds, I'd rather turn that spawner into an XP grinder because it'll be a lot more useful if I have fortune three on my pickaxe when we go diamond mining. You know, I didn't think it was totally necessary to do like a whole like drop down so they get down to one heart, but I'm starting to feel like it probably was because it takes forever to kill these guys. We are getting levels though, so that's a good start. No, we don't like children. You you shouldn't be here. Yeah, we got them. I decided to spend most of day 18 trying to get up to level 30, although my sword broke pretty quickly, which means I'm probably gonna have to redo this entire mob grinder and add a drop to bring the mobs down to half a heart. That's for later though. And just like that, I'm up to level 30. So it's time we can get out of here. Oh, and there's a ton of zombies up here. What are you guys doing? up here where'd they come from oh it's nighttime so i guess we're gonna have to sleep real quick going into day 19 i decided to head out and collect up some sugarcane because my sad little farm wasn't going to cut it once i had plenty enough sugarcane i could now collect up some wood for the bookshelves and sometimes i forget how much they use six planks per bookshelf and i need 15 of them i also killed a few cows for some extra leather and no i didn't kill a horse which means i can now start crafting things turning my sugarcane into paper then my paper and leather into books i could craft 17 bookshelves but wait a second i still need more obsidian for the enchantment table. Er, I forgot about that one. And there's also more bookshelves in here. You live and you learn, I guess. Making my way over to the abandoned portal from earlier, I was hoping there'd be a few pieces of obsidian left, but there wasn't. I also saw a bunch of floating sand, and come on, I kind of had to. So I ran around a little bit looking for another portal until I laid my eyes on this perfect lava pool, which I could put some water over and turn it all to obsidian. Once I had everything needed for the enchantment table, I could head back to base, craft the lovely enchantment table, and place all the bookshelves down along with the centerpiece itself. All right, let's see what it's showing right now. Now, efficiency three, that's no good. That's a 30 level enchantment too. All right, I need a few more pieces of experience. So maybe I can just do something like that. Okay, closer. Okay, level 31, perfect. Now I can just do something like this, a level one enchantment. What's it showing now? Silk touch, which I want, but I also want fortune. And now it's raining. I'm gonna go for the silk touch because I do kind of want to have it. Oh, and of course it's like a perfect pickaxe. All right, I'm gonna craft another diamond pickaxe real quick. Probably isn't necessary, but is it gonna show fortune now? Efficiency four. Sadly, I can't do that yet. I still need levels. Oh yeah, and it's now also day 21. And it might be a waste of time, but I think I wanna try spending the rest of the day getting back up to level 30. Level 28, 29. Oh my, I'm so close to level 30. Can another zombie just fall? I can hear him up there. And level 30. Oh, of course, I forgot my bed and it's now nighttime. Good job, me. Well, I'm just gonna make a run for it and hopefully nothing attacks me. I think there's a spider behind me. Oh yeah, there is. Okay, I made it back. Now I just need to sleep. Get out of that bed. That's my bed. And on to day 22 we go. What you think you're doing? Oh, 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 up, 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 up. in the water, in the water. Now with the diamond pickaxe I already crafted and a little bit of lapis, let's 
hope I can maybe get fortune on this, please. Oh, we got fortune too. Okay, that's that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Which means it's now time for a diamond mining montage, if I can find any. First things first, I crafted a bunch of torches. And then I made my way over to the nearby cave to go down to the lowest point of it. Mainly because I'm trying to avoid digging a staircase all the way down to the bedrock. It's never fun. Oh, that's pretty scary. But there might be diamonds down there, actually. A little bit of lava. Is there anything? Okay, redstone. I'm happy with that. But I would be more happy if it was diamonds. This cave shoot got me much closer to the bedrock, but I needed to go down a little bit further to reach the level I want to mine at. Not much further though. So with my little room dug out, let the strip mining begin. Um, that didn't take very long. I mean, literally like six blocks, seven blocks. All right, let's see how many there are. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, there's lava right there. Good to know, good to know. What about right there? Okay, I wanna break this and place that right there. It's looking like it's a six pack. Oh my goodness. Is this two combined packs? I think it is. It indeed was a combined pack. And we already have 26 diamonds. I'm not finished just yet though. And there's more, like right after this pack. It really must be my lucky day. That one was only a four pack, but it does give me enough diamonds to make full diamond armor and all the tools with it. You know, I'm feeling lucky, so I'm gonna keep going. And after a very long tunnel of mining, I think I'm gonna call it quits because I have no time to spare. And also because 33 is plenty enough. Now I just need to get back up there. While heading back up to the surface, I decided to explore the nearby caves looking for some coal and also some copper because I had none of either of those. And it's also now day 23. Can you guys believe that? We've been together for 23 days. They love me. Look how they look at me. Before I get started on any new projects, I wanna come down to the XP grinder because come on, I'm so close to level 30 and I have a bunch of diamonds that I can do some enchantments with. As convenient as it is to use this thing, I definitely need to find a better solution because it takes so long to get to level 30. But I think I have an idea. Oh, and by the way, I'm up to level 30. Oh, dang it. It's nighttime again. I think I can make it to the bed before mobs start spawning. Hey there, buddy. Okay, enough screwing around. Gotta go. On the morning of day 24, I decided to use all my brand new diamonds to craft a full set of diamond armor and also diamond tools. Out of all these items I can enchant, I think I'm gonna go with my diamond axe because every piece of armor is showing unbreaking three, which is good, but I don't just want unbreaking three. So I'm not gonna take my chance chances with it. So maybe I can get some unbreaking three along with the efficiency four. Oh yeah. And that is a perfect ax. Now, when it comes to my plan for getting levels quicker, I think I'm going to use these guys because villager trading gives you so much XP and emeralds along with it, which are two things that I definitely need. Now, right now, these guys are mainly just trading wheat, which I don't have a lot of, but if I can upgrade all of them just a little bit, they'll be trading pumpkins and melons. And it also happens to be really easy to build an auto pumpkin melon farm. Although it does mean I have to go into this really, really bad place. So I got everything together that I'm going to need and I'm going to destroy the portal. Not because I don't want to go in there. Well, I kind of don't, but because I plan on moving this portal pretty far away, hoping that we might get a better spot in the nether. And I think there's no better spot for it than right next to the abandoned nether portal. Last piece of obsidian, and now we just have to light it. And please give me a better spawn this time. Please, I hope so. Oh, we're still in the basalt delta. Oh, it actually looks like we're right towards the end of it. Okay, maybe not that way. What about what about this way? You know, it took me a second to realize it, but every block in the nether is eight blocks in the overworld. So even though I moved the portal like two or 300 blocks, it really was only like 50 blocks in the nether, which means I'm gonna need to go a lot further away. But first I'm gonna sleep because it's a, uh, nighttime. Most of day 25 was spent traveling further and further away from base. Um, I know what you guys did. Yeah, you run from me. It's okay, you little bu -bu -bu -bu. Only if I had some bones, I could make some friends. Three friends. I'll take the harvest though. Might as well. After saying bye to the three puppers, I decided to keep on traveling further. Happy I found these because I was going to be needing them soon. Huh, and there's a village right up there that also has a blacksmith building. Don't mind if I do. Uh, there's nothing really good in here, but you know, I did forget my shield. So if I grab some logs, make a crafting table, turn the rest of these logs into planks, and now I can make a shield. Well, I don't need two of them, just one. Thank you, kind sir. Well, I'm hoping this is far enough away from base, so I'm gonna build the nether portal. And I swear, if I spawn in a basalt delta, I'm gonna lose it. Put my shield in my hand, and let's hope it's something good. Are you kidding me? I'm still in the basalt delta? And yet again, collect up the whole portal. All right, this better be far enough, because I've nearly traveled 2,000 blocks and also wasted an entire day doing it, which also means I need to get moving. Please be far enough, please be far enough. Oh, 
Oh god. Oh god, that's not good. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Where'd they go? Did they literally just all die? I think they may have. Well, that's good for me. I do want to grab a little bit of nether rack real quick, just so I can continue closing these areas off. Because for those who don't know, wither skeletons are three blocks tall. And so if you make this area two blocks tall, they can't get through it. It's a nice little hack to know. Okay, we got a ton of nether wart, so I'm gonna steal all of this. And it looks like this goes nowhere. No, it doesn't. Keep stealing this stuff. Definitely taking the soul sand with me. And now I can just keep moving. Oh, I hate those sounds. Lots of tunnels, which I don't love, but I'm gonna have to deal with them. Oh, it looks like there's a abandoned nether portal right there. A very, very, very long tunnel. That don't tell me it goes to nothing. It goes to nothing. There's a crimson forest right over there, which I'm definitely gonna avoid. And is this like a complete dead end? Yeah, we're now back at the portal. And there's no direction to go from here. Oh, yep, there's a direction this way. And there's also a chest. Ooh, some diamond horse armor and a saddle. Gladly gonna take that, but this is now a dead end too. Oh, hey there, buddy. Okay, it looks like it continues down there, but that does mean I'm gonna need to exit the fortress. I'm just gonna keep my eyes peeled for any wither skeletons. Oh, the glowstone scared me. What's in the chest? Yeah, I don't really need any of that. I'm gonna take the gold blocks though and a little bit of glowstone because I can't. Oh goodness, there's a lot of blazes right there. Oh, I don't like that. I do not like that one bit. All right, I'm just gonna make a run for it over to this side. Hopefully I don't drop into any wither skeletons. Move quickly, move quickly. Okay, we're good there. Looks like there's some stairs. Gonna block these off, block this off. Oh, and there's a bunch of lava, which I don't like. Okay, I think I'm good. Just need to go this way. Close that off, close that off, and close that off. Oh yeah, there's one right there. He was just right there. I just saw him. He went up the stairs. Well, I am gonna take a little bit more netherrack because I'm almost out, and I'm gonna try to cross this lava too. No friends are over there or right here. Looks like a dead end, and also looks like a dead end. So is there anything up here? Oh yeah, there's a blaze spawner right there. Perfect. Definitely want to close this off. Okay, that's perfect because I definitely need some blaze rods. Need to be kind of careful about this. Okay, okay. I don't like this. Man, shields are so OP. I never use these things and I'm glad I am now. And I so far only have two. I'm gonna need a lot more than that. Oh, I brought my golden looting sword that we got from abandoned nether portal. So I'm gonna start using that too. Oh, how did they hit me? I'm up to 10. I want to try getting 15. Oh, he got me. He got me. Oh, that's 15. That's 15. That's 15. Okay, let's get out of here. Well, that's pretty much all I need from the nether fortress. So now I want to try finding a warped forest. Oh, hi there, friend. I don't like you. You do a lot of damage. And you also take forever to kill. Oh, is that what I think it is? It is a warped forest. Okay, let me close myself off, give myself a little bit of space, and I'm just gonna poke my head around. Okay, I think I'm safe, or at least I don't think there's any wither skeletons. So I'm just gonna make my way into here. Now, if you're wondering why I wanted to find a warp forest, it's because of these guys. They virtually spawn everywhere, which is really good for me because I'm gonna need a lot of ender pearls. Come on, I'm looking at you. How do you hit me? How did they hit me? How did they hit me? Oh my goodness, I don't know how they hit me. Did I get an ender pearl? Oh, my inventory's full. Another one right there. Come on, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. Oh yeah, follow me, follow me. Okay, perfect. Oh, I didn't get one that time. Well, my sword just broke, so I've resorted to using my axe, which I honestly think works a little bit better. I'm just having a hard time finding Enderman. So I looked at two Endermen in the eyes, so now they're attracted to me and want to kill me. But they fell down somewhere, and I don't know where that is. And there's a chance when I walk out of here, they're both going to come after me, which is absolutely terrifying. And I'm going to look at a third one anyways. Yep, come here, buddy. All right, give me an Ender Pearl. Sweet, he gave me one. That brings me up to 13. And about an hour later of killing Endermen, I'm up to 18 Ender Pearls. And it really sucks that these don't stack higher than 16. I mean, I get it, but why? With that being said, I can head back over to the Nether Portal. I have a gold helmet on. Okay, perfect. Freaked out for a quick second when I saw that piglin. Or hoglin. Which one is it? Hi there, buddy. You don't hate me, right? Oh, I have an idea. If I put that on the ground, what are you going to do? I have a lot more of that stuff too. Ooh, crying obsidian. Okay. 
Let's try one more. I'm gonna keep doing this for a little bit. I'm gonna take some of the stuff, might as well. Well, I got a few goodies from the Hoglin, like some spectral arrows, some crying obsidian, and um, this water bottle, yum. But I'm gonna try making my way back to the portal because it's now already day 28, meaning I spent day 25, 26, and 27 in the nether. And that was all so I can get enough ender pearls to make my way into the end. While making my way back to the portal, I decided to stop and collect up some quartz because I was gonna need some of it to make this auto melon pumpkin farm. I also decided to kill a few wither skeletons, which was absolutely terrible terrifying, and they didn't give me any skulls. Once I had enough quartz, I could then head back into the overworld, which thank goodness I'm done in the nether. Oh shoot, I forgot to get some gas tears. All right, maybe for next time. When I came back through, it was nighttime, which meant there were mobs everywhere. So I boated around and found a safe spot and decided to sleep for the night. About half a day 29 was spent traveling all the way back to base. And I see home. I never realized how many turtles were next to the village. Well, I am back up to level 30, so it's time to check what the best enchantment's gonna be. All the armor is showing unbreaking three like last time, but the sword is showing smite four. And I think I'm gonna, oh, I don't know, because the bow is showing power four, but I really want infinity. All right, I'm gonna go with the sword. Why not? Ooh, that's actually a really good sword. I'm very happy with that. Now, what is the armor showing? Detection four. All right, next time I'm up to level 30. With that out of the way, it's now time to get started on the pumpkin melon farm. But first, I need to turn all this quartz ore into quartz. So why not do it by making a tower? And it's nighttime, so let me sleep real quick. Out of my bed, mister. On the morning of day 30, I spent a little while crafting all the items I'm gonna need for this farm. And um, there's a lot. I was also missing a few things too. Luckily, I could get them pretty easily. After all the crafting and mining the quartz, I'm back up to level 30. Well, actually level 31. And I was gonna enchant a piece of armor, but I think I'm gonna do my shovel because it's showing efficiency four. Okay, that's not great, but at least it's faster. And it's also time to sleep again. And oh my goodness, are these days starting to speed up? I mean, they're not. Everything just feels like it's going so much faster. Besides that though, everything in this chest is what I'm gonna need. Well, also the deep slate bricks too. So I'm just gonna mine this chest, collect everything up, and I think I'm gonna build the farm right about here. I mean, come on, it's already like completely flat and there's nothing in the way besides tall grass and ferns. And just like that, the auto melon pumpkin farm is all finished up. It's just gonna take a while for all of these plants to grow up a little bit because normally I would use bone meal, but I don't have any. The next project I wanna work on is a villager breeder because I'm gonna be needing a lot of these guys. But first I'm gonna need some wool for beds because I have none. Now I'm gonna use all this wool and turn it into beds. And we were able to make seven, which should be enough because I could always steal some from some of these houses. Next up, I'm gonna need some building blocks. So time to chop some trees down. And just like that, it's now day 34. And I also have a bunch of resources put together here to build this villager breeder. All right, I need everyone to make their way in here. Oh, that is really dark. That that was probably a bad idea to put a roof on it already. Is that everyone? Where are you going, sir? Oh, there's still a bed in here. Get rid of it, get rid of it. I need to hurry up. The mobs are gonna start spawning. Uh, get my glass, cover that up. And now I can just sleep. Well, that's a good sign. We got ourselves a golem. With the villager breeder complete, I wanna move on to my next project, which is gonna be a little more difficult because it involves harvesting these guys. Now, I would hit you and I'm fighting the urge to, but you'd probably kill me. Luckily, there's still three villagers left over after all of them went into there, which is the exact amount I'm gonna need. Before before I can get started building this iron farm, I need to collect up a few more building blocks because I'm all out of them. Following that, I needed to craft up a few more items. Oh my goodness, it's already time to sleep again? Well, this should be everything I'm gonna need besides the two water buckets. And I'm gonna steal this boat real quick because I still need to go get a bucket of lava. Luckily, I know just the place. Lava bucket acquired. And really, we just got the advancement hot stuff? Thought we would have gotten it earlier. Guess not. Besides that, I'm gonna build the iron farm right here. It should be far enough away from the village and also out of sight because these things tend to look pretty ugly. All right, just get in the boat, friend. Come on. Nope, wrong, wrong thing. Get on in the boat. Okay, perfect. And now I just need to make my way all the way over to the iron farm. Oh my goodness, you're kidding. I can't get off path block. Give this another try. Get my boat. Nope, that didn't work. Where you going, dude? Come on, in the boat, in the boat. Perfect. I just need to make a little crossing. Actually, I'll do it down here. A little bit something like this. Dang it, I'm not gonna be able to get him over there before the sun sets. All right, well, I guess it's gonna have to wait. 
On the morning of day 37, I spent a little bit of time getting this villager over to the iron farm, but the struggle was real. All right, you can wait right here while I go get your other friends. Nope, that is not what I wanted. Separate boats, please. Get okay, you right here, right there. Perfect. Okay, got them both. And I'm just going to go one at a time. On to the last one. I need to avoid that water. And we're off. All three villagers are now here. And now I just have to wait for nighttime so they can track all the way up to the top of the farm to sleep in a bed. I'm going to try to be somewhat prepared though for when nighttime does come and I need to get a zombie in here which shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, I can also put the chest down along with all the hoppers and there's our collection system. And yeah, now I just have to wait. The sun's getting ready to set. So I think I can break these boats and they should pathfind to those beds. All right, everyone, yep, up. What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing, sir? Come on, hurry up. What are you doing? What is this guy doing? Get in the boat, get in the boat. Oh, this isn't good. This is not good. Come on, let's go up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs. Okay, there we go. That's perfect. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. And they're all three in. Perfect. I got to cover this all up. And now I need to go get a zombie that will pick up a helmet, which is going to be a little bit terrifying. This guy's following me. Perfect. Just this way, buddy. And he's in. Okay. That is exactly what I wanted. So now I can get rid of this. I, I do want to block everything off though. So nothing else comes up here. Put a block over the top of him. Get rid of this stuff and sleep. Oh, there's monsters nearby. Of course. I didn't even think about that. I can't believe I already have an iron farm on day 38. Normally I move so slowly, but with this 100 days, I'm moving speedy quick. All right, how much iron do I already have? Okay, not bad. It's only been running for like a minute or two. So I'm gonna let this thing be for now and we'll come back and check on it around like day 50, let's say, which means I can now get started with my next project. And um, we need to build a base because currently this is my storage room and furnace room along with my enchantment room. But no, 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 we're not just gonna build a house. We're gonna build a castle, which also means I'm gonna need a lot of blocks. Luckily, most of that's going to be stone. So let's get to digging. Hopefully this should be enough stone to get a good start on this castle. But first, I want to break all this coal and copper using my fortune pickaxe. And as usual, we're going to do it in tower form. Before I can get started building the castle, I'm first going to need to break some blocks. Because um, all of this stuff's in the way. And just like that, we're now on day 40, which means I'm two fifths of the way through this 100 days. Okay, back to the castle. Now I'm thinking I want this whole thing to be pretty symmetrical. So I wanna match this building right here on this side. I just need to figure out how far apart I want them to be. So this right here is 17 blocks, which I think is good because there's also gonna be seven blocks right here that are gonna match that side. Am I putting a little bit too much on my plate? Yeah, maybe, but I wanna push myself to build as much as I can in 100 days. Oh, hey, I forgot you guys were down here. And oh no, our mending village is gone. Oh, that's such a bummer. All right, whatever, I'm gonna get to building. First off, I wanted to put a border around the entire outside of the castle, just so I can get an idea of how big this thing's going to be. It's roughly a 31 by 31 block square, and I think this will be plenty big enough to fit as many farms and also villager trading halls for the first 100 days and hopefully the next 100 days. Although before I can continue building, I need to get rid of a few houses because um our wall is going to cut directly through this one. And I think we could leave this one as a centerpiece. Maybe we'll see when I get to that point. It's like it was never even there. Wait, what was there? Exactly, nothing. Waking up on day 41, I decided to spend the entire day working on the castle, mainly building up the walls and also figuring out what the floor plan's gonna be. And then it was nighttime again. You know, I really didn't want to have to do it, but I think I'm going to have to tear this house down. And you better not hit me while I'm doing it. I thought it was going to work perfectly. We could have this be the centerpiece of the whole castle and we could do like an armor room or like a map room in it. But guess not. While I aimlessly tear down this house, I just wanted to take a second to thank you guys so much because all of this I'm doing would not be possible if it weren't for you guys. And if you're feeling the love and want to help me out, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And just like that, the house is gone, which means I can continue working. But I'll share my ideas with you first. First off, I want to do a big building right in front of me. They'll come all the way back here and we can fill with all of our villagers for trading. On this side, I want to do the same thing, but I want to have a storage room because um my storage room is pretty bad right now. Yeah. I also want to do a little gate in the front. Well, kind of little. And then another building in the back. Now, I'm not sure what's going to go in this back building, but I can figure it out as I go along. Okay. I wanted to try something, but um that looks awful. Like really bad. And it's also time to sleep again. 
On the morning of day 42, I decided to tear down this first structure. Cause come on, it did look horrible. With a new idea flowing, I got to building. Keeping the same concept as before, I wanted an overhang over the front of this with an oak roof. And then I decided to add a little tower off to the left side, which I ended up moving one block back. All right, I think this is looking a little bit better. I still don't love it, but that might be because I haven't done any detailing yet. So I'm gonna continue with this look on that side. Jumping right back into building, I thought a terrace would look really cool on this side of the castle until I realized it didn't look very good. So tearing the whole thing down, I decided to raise the wall up a few more blocks and then build a super large building on top of it which um yeah a creeper was chasing me around and i didn't even know about it besides that though i'm really happy with how this side's turning out and oh yeah i spent four days building this side of the castle you know i really like how this is turning out there's a lot of stone brick but i think i can come through with some cobblestone and do a little bit of texturing to help clean everything up or messy everything up i don't know which one it is yeah that looks a lot better and then i can actually take some stone brick and vines make some mossy stone bricks and use this for detailing too like this that. I do want to keep building, but I am all out of stone. I mean, I have some stone brick slabs, a few stone bricks, but no more stone, which means I can't craft any more stone bricks. Besides that, though, I noticed that I'm almost at level 30, so I think I'm going to head down to the zombie spawner to get some XP, because I do really want to do some enchanting. And also, have we started producing melons and pumpkins? Oh, yes, we have. Oh, I got to get started with the villagers soon. Yeah, I'm talking about you, my prisoners. I mean, villagers. All right, yeah, I'm going to head to the zombie spawner. <laughs> Well, that was pretty quick. All right, let's head over to the enchantment table. And it's raining again. Are you kidding me? I feel like it just rained like yesterday or the day before. Everything is pretty much showing fire protection three besides the helmet, which is aqua infinity. So I think I'm going to go with that. Hopefully we get something more. Oh, 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 okay. And now everything's just showing on breaking three. Well, it's what it is. I can put on my diamond helmet now. Oh, look at us with our blue thinking cap and time to sleep again, which now brings us to day 48. And before I can go mining for some more stone, there's one more thing I need to do, which is repair my pick. And in order to repair it, I'm gonna need to make my way over to the iron farm to get some iron so then I can craft an anvil. And I did say we would go check it out around day 50. And I feel like day 48 is close enough. But of course I don't know where my boat is, so I'm gonna have to swim over there. And I always love this animation. It's such a cool one. Well, that's never a good sign. Hopefully we didn't lose a bunch of iron. Oh yeah, look at that. So much iron. That's more than I even know what to do with. Iron farm was definitely worth it. All right, back home I go. Three iron blocks, please. And now we can craft the anvil. I always love this sound. Yes, I love it. Now, here's the part I don't love. Need to craft a brand new diamond pickaxe, which brings us down to five diamonds, and combine these two together to get a fully fixed up one. And back to mining I go. Rather than keep mining down here, I think instead I'm gonna mine this whole area out, and hopefully it gives us enough stone to finish up this castle. Well, so far it's pretty much just been dirt, which is not what I wanted. I also need to repair my shovel because it's almost broken too. Get rid of all that dirt, put it in there and continue to get rid of all of this. I would say that was a waste of a day, but I was gonna do this anyways. I'm just a little bit sad I didn't get more stone from it, but time to sleep. On to day 49 we go. Once I had all the dirt cleared out and a little bit of stone collected, I got back to building up this castle. First off by replacing the inner walls with some stone brick, and then got started on building another structure towards the back of the castle. Trying to change things up a little bit, I decided to add in some windows and then also use some granite in the roof, which definitely helped adding some more variation to the blocks in the castle. You know, I just realized it's now day 50, which means we are halfway through this 100 days, but that also means I got a a lot more work to do. I gotta finish this castle, kill the ender dragon, get some elytra, and don't die while doing either of those. Because I already have full diamond armor and full diamond tools, excluding a hoe. So yeah, I think I'm making pretty good headway. Let's continue building this though. And here's how it's going. Structure wise, I think I'm all finished up, but there's still a ton of detailing to do around the base and also on the interiors because I haven't done a single one yet. Although I'm feeling a little burnt out when it comes to building this castle. So to change things up, I think I wanna go kill the ender dragon. So first off, I need to clear up my inventory and then I gotta take all my ender pearls and blaze rods from the blaze rods into blaze powder. Actually, I wanna save one for a brewing stand. Turn all of these guys into ender pearls, craft up one brewing stand and also make some glass bottles. Grab one melon, place this guy down 
down, make a glistering melon slice. Where did I put my nether wart? I know I grabbed some. Okay, there it is. Get this stuff going. Do I have the gunpowder? Yes, I do. I'm gonna put on all my diamond armor, put my iron stuff away. Oh, and we got instant health potions. Throw some redstone. Is it glowstone? Maybe it might be glowstone because I want it to be instant health too. Yeah, it is glowstone. I'm gonna sleep real quick. Turn this pumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern so I can then put it on my head, which means Enderman can't see me. I also have this notch apple, which I'm definitely gonna take. Actually, I'll take this one too. Both golden apples. Ooh, I almost forgot water buckets. Definitely wanna grab a bunch of these. And with that being said, I think I'm ready to go take on the Ender Dragon. We'll remember this is day 54. So if I die, this is the last day I was at our base. With our almost finished castle, the villager breeder that doesn't seem to be working, fully functional pumpkin melon farm, which is producing a ton of items, and this guy. So with that being said, let's see which direction this Eye of Ender is gonna take us. Oh, okay, behind me. So this way we shall go. Goodbye, my lovely base. All right, I'm pretty far. Let's throw another. And now it's going this way. Can I catch it? Up, oh, up, up up. Why? Well, the lake ended, so now it's time to go by foot. And yes, I grabbed my boat. You know, I did forget one thing, which is torches. Oh, and I have my silk touch pickaxe with me. All right, I'm gonna collect all this up, then grab two pieces of wood actually three, make a crafting table, then some sticks, and then a wooden pickaxe. So I can then harvest all of this coal up. Oh man, I do not miss using a wooden pickaxe. It takes so long to mine stuff. Craft this coal and sticks into torches, and we're back on our journey, only to be stopped because it's becoming nighttime. Let me sleep real quick, and now we're back on the journey. Is that an abandoned nether portal I just saw? I think it was. Yeah, it definitely is. I'm gonna throw an eye of ender. Which way are we going? Okay, we're going that way now. Why? Oh, okay. Yeah, that is not what I was hoping for. Any goodies in here? Um, no, nothing really. I would go for that gold block, but the, the lava. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my goodness. That was almost really bad. Oh my goodness, look, it's a panda. And another one. Oh, it just did a roll. Look at it, it's on its belly. Hi there, little buddy. Hi there. How are you? Look at you. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Are we still going this way? Oh, nope, it turned around. Okay, so back this way a little bit. What about here? Okay, so still going this way. Please don't tell me it's under the water. Oh, hey there, man. Is it next to the panda? Oh, where did that one? Okay, back this way. Oh my goodness, it's a baby panda. It's a baby panda. And he's, oh, I've never seen a baby panda before. Okay, still going this way. It looks like it's actually curling out a little bit. What about here? How far did I go past it? Okay, now it's going to the left a little bit. It's gotta be pretty close. Oh, oh, yep, we're finding it because it just reversed. I don't know where it went. I'm gonna do it in a little bit of a risky way, but there's no time to waste. Is it down here somewhere? No, I don't see it. All right, I'm gonna go back up. I'm really confused. I don't know where those last two eyes of Ender went. Oh, oh, it's right here. If I go like that, is it gonna go backwards? I swear, these things are just like disappearing. I'm gonna come back here. Oh yeah, it surely must be like right over here. So I'm gonna continue to dig down. Hopefully we don't hit the water cave this time. Um, that's a really big mine shaft. All right, I'm gonna keep going. All right, looks like we have a big cave down here, but I don't think this is it. No, block all that off and I'm gonna keep going. Ooh, I think I found it. Oh yes, I did. There's a chest right here. Up oh, some, some iron armor. Don't need that. Oh yes, I love myself a library. What kind of books does this thing have? Oh, there's the chest. Oh, that is a really, really good book. I will take that. There should be another chest downstairs somewhere. My sword out. Oh, there it is. Oh, 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 that was scary. All right, what's in here? Um, that is really good too. Don't really have the space for it though, so I think I'm just gonna leave them for now and I'll come back for them later. Oh, okay, creeper, nothing's behind me. But there is another library, which I think I'm gonna let it be for now, just cause like I said, I don't have any inventory space, so. All right, we're going down further. Nothing in the jail cells, that's a dead end. So must be back this way. Oh, was that it? Nope, that wasn't it. I thought it was. Down here maybe? Okay, that goes down. What's behind this door? That also goes down, but there is no button. Those are definitely connected. Okay, nothing's down that way either. Come on, I gotta be pretty close. Nothing in there and another dead end. So it's gotta be back this way. That's the side of a library. Oh my goodness, this is the most messed up end dungeon I've ever seen. There's like a cave running right through the center of it. So everything's like totally backwards and not right. Oh, that's a chest I have not seen yet. Some bread in there. No, I want that torch. That's my last one. Oh, 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 
oh, oh, that's it, that's it, that's it. I'm gonna break this thing. Oh, thank goodness I crafted some extra Eyes of Ender because there is not a single one in this thing. That would have sucked. All right, let's fill this thing out. And here goes the last one. Oh, baby. That is terrifying to look at. Oh my goodness. All right, I wanna get myself prepared a little bit. Bow right there. I do wanna have my pickaxe in my hand. I have a golden apple. And what arrows am I shooting right now? Okay, I wanna shoot those ones. That's perfect. Also have a bucket of water, which I'm gonna put right there so I can go reverse, put that there. And I think I'm ready to go. And this is like absolutely terrifying because one wrong move and I can lose this entire world. All right, whatever. Let's go for it. Loading terrain. Oh, we're in the end. Oh, oh okay. It's gonna dig my way up a little bit. All right, keep digging up. Oh boy, this is so terrifying. Oh, there he is. Come on. Got that one. Perfect. See if I can get this one. Got that one. Got that one too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That one too. Oh my goodness, you gotta move so fast. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to hit that. Ooh, gotta avoid that right there. Oh, how did that not hit him? Got him that time. Sweet. Oh, I missed him that time though. Oh, I'm definitely gonna take one of these ender pearls. Good to have. All right, I need to try and hit him while he's healing. Oh, they do. He does damage when you get close to him. How did that not hit? Hit him again. Keep hitting him. Keep hitting him. I only have eight arrows left. Gotta wait for him to come back down and heal. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, here we go. Okay, I got it. I got it. I normally suck at that, but I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh my goodness. That was such a close call. I normally am horrible when it comes to water bucketing. I probably should have brought in more arrows, but it's what it is. And I got another ender pearl, which is good. I'm come down to heal. Yep. Come down to heal. Oh, my. up. Well, there. Up. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, that is not fun. Oh my goodness. I was so close and I'm not even back at base. Oh, that is just horrible. Oh, I gave it a try at least. 100 days of hardcore Minecraft. Did I rage quit after that? Yeah, maybe. But there is a lesson to be learned here. Take an infinity bow with you when you go to kill the ender dragon or else you're gonna end up like me. 24 hours wasted. At least it was a good experience. And on to next time. Thank you guys for watching all the way through. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.